Acetylcysteine is a medication used to treat pulmonary congestion as well as to treat acetaminophen overdose. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover important facts about acetylcysteine so you'll be ready come test day. Welcome to the famous Acetylcysteine Chapel, where you're about to see one of the most spectacular views. You might want to grab a fan on your way in. More on that later. For now, let's focus on the Cysteine Chapel. The Cysteine Chapel is our symbol for the drug acetylcysteine. You may have heard acetylcysteine called by its brand name, Mucamist. But remember that the NCLEX uses generic names, so just remember this Acetylcysteine Chapel and you'll be good to go. I mentioned before you might want to grab a fan. That's because this air vent is covered in slime and isn't cooling the Sistine Chapel like it should. Don't worry though, I'm working on cleaning the slime to get it back up and running in no time. This slime-covered air vent is our symbol for mucus in the respiratory system. I mean, don't you think this slime looks like mucus? And the air vent moves air just like the respiratory system. The way I'm cleaning the slime from the air vent is to help you remember that acetylcysteine thins respiratory secretions to treat pulmonary congestion, or mucus in the lungs. There are a a variety of lung conditions, both acute and chronic, that present with mucus in the lungs, like cystic fibrosis, for example. Acetylcysteine thins those respiratory secretions so that they are mobilized more easily and can be coughed and cleared up. Our next symbol will explain the route of administration of acetylcysteine when used for this purpose. This air vent is super dirty, so I'm looking the other way and taking in some deep breaths before I dive back into cleaning. The way I'm taking these deep breaths is to remind you that when used to thin respiratory secretions, acetylcysteine should be given through inhalation. This is an important distinction compared to acetylcysteine's other use, so let's talk about that. Take a closer look at these fans that we're handing out to our Sistine Chapel guests. These aren't just any fans, they're cedar mini fans. Here at PixRise, we use cedar mini fans to symbolize the drug acetaminophen. I mean, they sound pretty similar, right? Cedar mini fan for acetaminophen. I think we have way more cedar mini fans than we're going to need. Just like there are too many cedar mini fans here, acetylcysteine can be used to treat people who take too much acetaminophen, as in acetaminophen overdose. That's right, acetylcysteine is an antidote for treating an acetaminophen overdose. Oh, I should have warned you the cedar on those mini fans are prone to giving splinters. This splinter in your forearm looks kind of like an IV needle, don't you think? Well, that's because when acetylcysteine is used to treat acetaminophen overdose, it's mainly given in IV form. And the way you're pulling the splinter out with your teeth can remind you that it can also be given orally. Think about it. Acetaminophen usually enters the bloodstream where it can cause liver toxicity and overdose. To treat this overdose, you need acetylcysteine to reach the liver and it can only do that if it's given orally or through an IV. Looks like I got the air vent back up and running, but when it kicked on, a whole bunch of dust blew out of the vent, making it hard to breathe up here. Look at how I'm gasping and wheezing for air and let that help you remember that when inhaled, acetylcysteine has the potential to cause bronchospasm, so it should be used with caution in patients who have asthma. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Acetylcysteine is a medication with differing effects depending on how it is administered. When given through inhalation, it can be used to thin respiratory secretions to treat pulmonary congestion. When given orally or through an IV, it is used to treat acetaminophen overdose. One side effect seen with taking acetylcysteine through inhalation is bronchospasm, so be cautious when giving acetylcysteine to patients who have asthma. And now we're actually done with acetylcysteine. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.